Okay, you guys are probably wondering what's going on here. This is a suggestion given to me from Michael Moffat from the LMTV Facebook page. Um, this is a one-way check valve. If you put this number in the search box on eBay, you'll come across these and they are anywhere from $20 to $30 each shipped. I bought a couple of them because the guy gave them both to me for like 30 bucks for the pair. Um, but what this is, is it, it's a check valve that only allows air to go in one way on the air compressor. And then it, it, it doubles as a piston ring seat or on the actual air compressor pistons. It keeps pressure on the piston rings. And if you guys remember, I have a little bit of some oil vapors in my system right now, which is a sign that the piston rings are going bad or there's not enough pressure on those piston rings to keep them seated so, so oil is getting past them. So I'm gonna attempt this fix first. I do have a spare compressor, but I don't wanna swap it out yet. I wanna try this to see if it works as an experiment. Once I get this mounted, it is gonna take you know driving around a little bit to clear that air cleaner out and then I'll swap out the canister after uh, it stops dripping oil if this works <clears throat> so these kits come with this check valve that has a notch on it right here and you want the notch to go away from the air compressor otherwise it won't suck any air in it will just never give you air pressure and then it comes with a bunch of gaskets and some hardware and stuff but Let's get started on this. Actually, it looks like the oil vapors are coming in from this hose. Which is odd because it comes from the air cleaner. Take side. Very odd. I think I'm going to take that hose off of there and clean it out. It's dry up here. clean the hose out and I cut the end off of it because if you're using regular hose clamps it absolutely just destroys silicone hoses my suggestion on these trucks is to change out all your hose clamps to breeze clamps you won't have hoses getting torn up 
because you tighten them down too much. You can set them to the correct pressure. Overall, they just work a lot better. You don't need to put them on gorilla tight. This is just intake, so it's just providing a small vacuum. See the little notch right there? They want it facing out and up. So the words on the inside will be upside down, if that makes any sense. You're basically just sandwiching this check valve inside the intake for the air compressor. And I put some uh, Lucas Red and Tacky on the bolts. Not much torque is needed on these. It's just an intake. 25 foot pounds is plenty. Those bolts and those washers come in the package. Don't ask me what this thing does because I have no clue. It's got a couple of oil feed lines hooked up to it. Maybe it's an oil feed. I don't know. But I added some grease to that. And those are not Gorilla Tidy. I will leave a link in the description for these Breeze hose clamps. And yes, I use them everywhere on this truck. Anytime I do some service on the truck, I'm swapping out the regular hose clamps to the Breeze ones. Simple as that. Do I think this is going to work? Honestly, I don't know. There's probably a 50 50 chance that it will work. Um, I'm kind of doubtful, but at the same time, you never know. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the quickest fix. If not, I got another air compressor I can swap this out. I'm just going to try this as an experiment to see if it works. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. But as always, hope you guys are staying safe. Take care, and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.